For the C686 Lewis structure, there are three ways we can draw it. The most common is benzene. I'll explain how to do that, and then I'll show you the other two ways that we can draw the C686 Lewis structure. So we have a total of 30 valence electrons to work with. For benzene, we're going to put the carbons in a ring structure. Then we'll put the hydrogens outside of the carbons. So we have our skeleton structure. So let's put two electrons between each of the atoms to form chemical bonds. So we'll put them like this, and we'll go around and do that for all of the atoms. So we have six valence electrons, so we'll put, I don't know, two here, two here, and then two here. But you can see right away we have octets on these carbon atoms, but these other three only have three bonds. So they only have six valence electrons, and they don't have a full outer shell. So we're going to need to form some double bonds. It looks like we'll need three double bonds. So let's take these two valence electrons and form a double bond between these two carbons. So now these two carbons here, they have eight valence electrons in their outer shell. We can form another double bond, but we can't put it right next to the one we just formed because then that carbon right here would have more than eight valence electrons. So we'll need to alternate our double bonds. Let's take these two here and form a double bond here. And finally, let's take these two and form a double bond right here. So now we're still using 30 valence electrons, but each of the carbons has eight valence electrons, so its octet is satisfied. So this is a viable Lewis structure for C6H6. In fact, it's called benzene, and it's quite common in organic chemistry. In fact, since benzene is commonly used in organic chemistry, there's a number of other ways we can draw it. These structures are intended to make it easier to draw the benzene Lewis structure. You could also draw the C6H6 Lewis structure like this or like this. There are probably even some other ways that I haven't thought of. So that's the Lewis structure for C6H6. Probably the most common will be the benzene. That's probably what you would be expected to know. But there are other isomers or ways to draw the C6H6 Lewis structure. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.